hello guys welcome back to Appsheet tutorial so in this video we're going to see about the automation of email so automation is a bot here you can define the events processes and tasks so i will explain what are this so first we'll create a new bot we'll name it as email automation and uh, create a custom bot for this okay so before we going to create this email automation first we'll add a new table for email automation so here we're going to give the username and uh, two of all says an option email like the switch button creating a new sheet for email automation then we'll send the username as well as their respective email id for whom we're going to send this email and maybe we we'll give a content also okay so first we'll send the static content then we'll show how to send a dynamic content so let's add this table in this app expression selecting the worksheet email automation and add this table now we'll go to this automation board we'll continue this and so you need to choose an event so event is nothing but like uh, when this automation bot should trigger so I am choosing an event, we will create a custom event for this. Okay. So custom event when I created, here you can define the event. So trigger email when adding a row. Okay. So for which table, the table in which we have added email automation. So in this table, we are creating one event. The data change should happen only if we add adds only so we have four kinds of uh, six they they have adds and delete so this event will trigger whenever you add or delete a row and adds and updates whenever you add and you are updating any columns or adds only so whenever you add then only this event will trigger so all changes means both all the add delete and update so respectively deletes only updates and deletes and updates so now we are going to use this data type adds only so whenever we add a row in this sheet this email will trigger this email automation okay so condition now as of now we will make it as uh, true i mean no condition for so maybe you can give like a condition kind of thing so only if email id is there or not so that any condition you can give so that later we will see so as of now we'll make it as optional one no condition and so this is the email event and uh, now we need to create a process so whenever this happens what we need to do so we'll add a step and we'll create a custom step so processes you can define lots of step so first you do send an email and in the next step you can send a message or any data change in should happen in this sheet like that you can make an additional processes but now in this demo we just going to send an email so let's create a task for this process we need to run a task okay so if you select this run a data action so you may you can whatever you have created in the behavior action you can use here okay, so this is the run a data action or you can branch the condition so you can give the condition if that condition satisfies yes means it will go through this flow or no means this flow so this is a branch and wait for the condition you can give any condition until this condition is true then we can trigger this process okay and now we are going to run a task which is an email task it means any task and creating a new task here 
will give an email address. Okay, this any name you can give and send an email. So this is a send an email and you can send a notification SMS and it's the advanced one you can call a webhook means you can call any other softwares through API calls or create a new file or reports in case of kind of thing. So now to be a channel is system default. So two should be so so now I am sending this email to myself. Okay. So this is a static one. You can define the expression also to whom we need to send. Okay, so that we are going to do. So email ID which we are giving. So to the respective person we need to send means we have to write an expression. So that we'll see the later. And the content use default content. So default content means whatever you give here it will come here. Okay, so first we'll try with this default content. Next we will use our custom customized content. How we can do this? So now saving this bot. Yeah, now it's got save. Let's test this email automation. Let first in this UX integrate a view. I'm sending for this data. Set email automation. Yeah. So, okay. Make it as post I will save this now this email sending web when I'm adding this data simply username increasing value oops let's check what is this column just get the table and columns username should be email okay the data type is email so actually it should be name email ID should be email and we will make all three columns as mandatory okay now the content will be the subject that we have to define in the bot now we are using the default content Save this. Username. Same thing. And content is. Okay. So this email ID. Now we are going to send only to this email ID, which means. The default one. This next step will make this. Now we are sending to this default one, so it doesn't matter whoever email ID you mentioned here. Okay, this is the default. So now I'm saving this. So I think let's check out this Gmail whether I received or not. Yeah, so we got the email. Let's open this. So I think the username, email ID, content we came here. Okay, so now it's coming to this only to me now we'll make this email automation dynamically over the email id you are giving it should go there okay so for that what we need to do is we need to deploy the app then only we can send to other email ids now as an app owner it will send to me only for testing purpose see this we have mentioned right now so it will go to task Info, then we mentioned the so not here.
here you have created this task right so it will come here the events whatever you have created your email and the process you have created the task you have created so everything whatever you have created it will come here events in process in the respective tabs okay so now we'll change this to dynamically for that we need to use the expression okay so, so the t is the text value which is a static one and this is the expression so you we'll click expression and we'll remove this email id instead of this we are going to use the columns so the email id column okay now and the content should be whatever the content we are giving you okay. so for that also we are going to use our custom content and email content okay, so we will add it here email body so every expression you have to mention within the quotes mark in the angular brackets so less than less than and this this is the email column contact so copy in here and paste it here and we'll say dear as a username whatever the username we're giving so username and come up oops so the username should be given within the angular brackets then only it will considered as an expression so this is an important one the angular brackets so if you have given like this without angular brackets it will simply send dear username it's things like it's a string so you have to give it within the angular brackets then it will work dynamically whatever you are giving the content type username okay, so let's subject should be something test so subject we don't need I'm testing email information anything and if you want to give cc bcc anything you can do and preheader this is the email preview can be seen in mobile apps so whatever if you are sending the email which you are seeing in mobile apps so this is the content will be seen in the mobile apps and uh, you can attach pdf or so now you are, we are using email body here so instead you can use the template also so template how you can use means you can create a file so which will create a document file so i will show you the demo so i'm creating a file so if you don't want to use this one you can use alternatively this email body template so i have created a file so we can view this so it's created in google docs and you can edit whatever you want so email task email automation so this this is the one will get sended by the automation bot so I see this the angular brackets is created automatically by app sheet so this is the one whatever you are giving in the sheet will get automated here and this is the alternative way of sending email body okay. so now we will remove this one we'll just send using this body So others and all attachments will be seen later but now we will send this one okay, I am saving this so I am adding a new row which will trigger this board and will execute this email sending task so now you can save the username and mail id so again so this time i will do this to different my another alternative email okay content Something will give and save. Uh, let's see this. I'll open that email ID. Okay. 
so there is the email id which you have given my alternative email id but it didn't came here because we haven't deployed it so if you are not deployed it will go to this owner's email id okay okay see the testing email automation subject in here see that yes wait i hope you are doing good so whatever the username and content we have given it came dynamically so but actually the problem is it came to me which means this owner email id but actually it should go to this email id for that we need to deploy this app then only it will work correctly so we'll run a deployment check and we'll deploy it no after this thing And now it's app is moved to deployed state. Now we'll send another email. Let's send to the same email ID. email is already in there okay so for other we will delete this one first because it seems it's a key column of email ID. Okay, then we should change this email ID should key column or just delete it and again add it okay this email ID is the key column that's why it's not allowing to give the same email ID next okay save it this time it should go to this email ID. see this the email ID came to this email ID. now so this is the dynamic one so this this time this email id it's not came to this so it will directly go to this email id okay so in this way we can dynamically go give the contents using this angular brackets whatever the contents you want or any other columns you can add here so this is the important one and in the coming video we can see how to go to how to use this behavior column called uh, move open go to another app sheet app, or go to another view within this app so this is an important action we can we will mostly use in this app development so we will see in the upcoming video so if you have any doubt just leave a comment and thanks for watching if you like share and subscribe thank you guys let's meet in next video